Hello, welcome back. I'm called Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through another part of cost of capital. And uh, before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe. It will bring you some good luck in your forthcoming exams. And also follow what I'm pointing at for you to be able to follow up properly. So for today, I'm going to begin with the uh, weighted marginal cost of capital. So what is uh, the meaning of uh, weighted uh, marginal cost of capital? So this refers to the average cost of capital, which has to be incurred to obtain additional funds required by the firm. Or this is the cost of additional funds to be raised by a firm. So firms uh, may raise uh, additional funds for expansion, which is also, now this is what they call the cost of capital. So after you knowing that, I'm having my example here, and it's saying uh, source of finance uh, amount in US dollars, then now uh, weights in uh, percentage, then the specific cost of capital. So I'm having equity capital of 400,000, preference shares of 800,000, dividends uh, of uh, 900,000, and I'm having my weights in percentage uh, for equity, it is 0.452. Preference share is 0 0.258, dividends is 0 0.290. Then the specific cost is uh, 9%. Uh, preference share it is 12%, uh, dividends it is 16%. So a firm wishes to raise an additional capital of US dollars, uh, 1,200,000 for expansion. The, the, de uh, the details of uh, additional capital are as follows. So, for equity capital is uh, 300,000 US dollars, preference share is 300,000 3 US dollars, dividend it is uh, 6,000 US dollars. So calculate the weighted marginal cost of capital. So with this, the solution, just like our previous examples from other videos, the previous videos of finding the weighted average cost of capital, we are going to be having the source of finance as uh, equity capital preference uh, preference capital dividends then the amounts in us dollars uh, now this is these are the amounts for the additional information this is these are the amounts from the additional information whereby we are having um, additional capital to be added as uh, 300,000 for preference uh, preference capital uh, still 300,000 then uh, dividends as 600,000 and it will give us uh, 1.2 million. So for the proportion, this is how I'm going to work it out. So proportion for equity capital is going to be the 300,000 divided by the total, which is going to give me 0 0.25. Preference share is going to be 300 still divided by the total, which is going to give me 0 0.25. And dividend is going to be 600 divided by the total, which is going to give me 0 0.5. So the proportion is going to be 0 0.25 uh, equity preference capital, 0 0.25 uh, dividend is going to be 0 0.5. For the specific cost of capital, uh, I'm going to get it from the question whereby equity capital it was 9% which I'm going to divide by 100 to give me 0 0.09 a preference capital is going to be 12% uh, which is going to give me 0 0.1 when I divide by 100 and dividends 16% uh, when I divide by 100 it's going to give me 0 0.16 so uh, proportion time was specific this time was I'm going to be getting uh, 0 0.0225 and with this time was this I'm going to be getting 0 0.03 this time was this uh, I'm going to be getting 0 0.08 so when I add all these uh, I'm going to be getting my weighted marginal cost of capital as 0 0.1325 so the weighted marginal cost of capital is going to be equal to the 0 0.1325 times I subject it to a percentage whereby I want to make this a percentage so times 100 so my weighted uh, weighted marginal cost of capital is going to be equal to 13.25 percent and this is good this is how i find my weighted marginal cost of capital thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe